Yesterday was a really good time to cry. The sky was full of itself. Smelling the sorrow in the air, I ran. I didn't want the grief to catch up with me. But misery can be persistent when it wants to at times. When hearts grow jealous of each other and gloom develops an obsession with your joy, you learn to detach yourself, always at the point of going missing. Daylin, I would like to invite you to my inner monologue. There is only one seat. Leather stitched with your initials on it. You have stripped me of my senses. Every time we made love, you threw compliments at me like dollar bills. To blast me in your kisses like a man fully satisfied. Yes. Watching my security flay itself away, but you never expected it to expose old scabs beautiful. A word so contaminated with rush roulette like games going in motion. Daily. Beautiful. See, it doesn't feel so good when aimed at you now, does it? I love you. My smile is in a monogamous relationship with your presence. Perfection was made in your image. I tossed your compliments back at you, lodged them in your consciousness, and you begin to like it. You expect them, want them. But then you look me right in the future and tell me you don't want to want this long even my I love yous and beautifuls forever. You don't like the attention. The indecisiveness in your desires encouraged me to ask you what you like so I continue to engage you. And you screw me out of your system. Twist me out of the home I found in your daydreams. There's a battle scar where I once resided with white flags covering them like band-aids. You stop talking all together. You breathe heavy to let me know you were fully engaged at one point. Yesterday was a really good time to cry. A really good time to detach myself from this humanizing thing we call emotions. But I would have rather cuddle up with your compliments instead.